Let me call him up. He's probably going to hmm. need... Where do you live at in Rome? Rome. He's going to have to drop it out there because he's in the bar. So. Cool. I appreciate it. No, and I'll, I'll be right back. boys this might be my first official shit box announcement this we might be my first shit box ford and ranger mustang gt50 found around marketplace and uh went and drove it <clears throat> and uh old bird went like this and pretty much i gotta buy it guys so 94 mustang gt 5.0 87 Ford fucking Ranger. Dudes. Pretty neat shit. Definitely I needs an exhaust. It needs a loud exhaust. It doesn't have one. It's got a quiet exhaust. We can fix that. We'll get that fixed right up. Little trick for using U-Haul. You call up the U-Haul. You tell them you need to use the car hauler trailer. No matter what you tell them you're hauling, they're going to tell you the trailer's too small. You call them up. You tell them you need to haul a Nissan Maxima, boys. That's what you tell them. You understand me? You tell them you need to haul your Nissan Maxima. And where can you pick up the trailer? Because Lord knows if you tell them it's a freaking Ford Ranger, they're going to say, whoa, that truck's way too heavy duty for a trailer. That'll break a trailer. I got my wad of hundreds. I'm ready to go, baby. Perfect. You haul boy sent me back, sent me to a place that wasn't even open. When I asked him on the phone, hey, boy, you went ahead and coordinated with them. They know I'm coming. Yes, sir. They'll be ready for you. I get there. They don't open for another hour and 20 minutes. I call them back. Hey, but you said they'd be ready for me. Yes, sir. Okay, well, they don't open till 10. So, oh, I don't know when they open, sir. I just sent the I just sent the uh, reservation. Right, but you said a minute ago. Right, but that ain't what you fucking told me a minute. That ain't what you told me a minute ago. Got the daggone trailer. Feel bad for the old boy who had to pick it up because it was just pissing rain the whole time and I didn't even get out of the truck. Not my job. I'm just happy I didn't get stuck. Stay in the grassy area so I don't get stuck. Sounds fucking like a suicide mission. This puppy's two wheel drive with passenger tires on it. Maybe the start of something special here, boys. Wonder what's in that friggin' Ford Ranger. Dead gum. I don't know. Maybe a 50 GT Mustang. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Get up in there, boys. She going on the channel tonight, son. This is a perfect spot for testing. Dudes, come on. Don't play with me. Be serious for two seconds. Be serious for two seconds. Anti-theft device, millennial style. What? What? Gotta fill her up with fuel, dudes. I don't want to be towing her again anytime soon. Ain't no telling how much gas it holds, but pretty sweet truck, man. Even scored me a free coon trap. Look, free animal trap. Got a couple extra seats with it. I'm probably going to have to ditch this camper. I ain't going to be putting no subs in here. I'm not Blake. I'd rather have it to go pick up some ATVs, boys. Somehow this just worked out. Look at it. Y'all know about that third pedal on the left over that's that's weird. Only 3,500 miles on the motor, I'm told. She didn't have much gas in her though, boys. I can hear it almost full. I need to figure out what kind of mileage I get so I can not do it like my papa and put it on the dash so I know before I run out. That sucker runs good, boys. I guess they just want me to run that over. I know, I know what y'all's wondering. Y'all's wondering, Jared, why you got Ford Ranger? We got Ford Ranger. So we popped the hood, dudes. We popped it. That's what we're doing. I'm gonna tell you. You know what I'll tell you? I'll tell you, pop the damn hood. It's got 260 air. Roll the windows down. 60 mile an hour. Now hold on one second, boys. All right, all right, all right. Dang, boys. Oh, 
boys out of a 93 Mustang GT? 94 Mustang GT, sorry. Oh boy. There's been some things done. I'm gonna make sure no wires are gonna touch no headers. And I'm gonna look at a few other things. I'm gonna check some fluids. And uh, maybe, maybe grease this belt some. Give it a little belt dressing on it. Now it wouldn't be a shit box if it didn't have some wood in it now. Come on with this. Definitely gonna have to do something about this. A lot of this crap. This must be a spare parts deck with his tools. Okay? And I'm not proud to see that. We're gonna have to clean that up a little, but I guess I can rip some donuts first. As long as this wrench won't reach across. Oh, we're good, dudes. I'm gonna clean all that shit out. Probably, I have a, uh, some alu panel that would work really good for that. That's aluminum rubber with rubber insert in it. So I may just make me something out of it. Boys, if this is your first time, it may be, because this is, uh, if it's a freaking Ford Ranger. Dudes, if this is your first time on the channel, get up in there, time machines. All we do, we go out, we find stuff that's freaking cool and unique from a different era, and we try and do something with it. You know what I mean? So, and I'm a Ford guy. Y'all know it. Y'all know it. You finna know it. Dude, we got the Mule 350 out here with the Chevy engine, but it's still cool, so I had to do it. I can get a Chevy motor. I don't care. The other buildings are full, guys. You need to get up in there. Trust me. Let's appreciate some of this for just a second. I know it ain't the slickest fender flares in the world, you know what I mean? But come on, who the hell made those? Who made those custom for the job? Shit, boys. Let's see how many rats we got. Oh, that kind of scared me. None, none, no rats to be exact but this will never close again, I guess. Great, it is a shit box, boys. I told you it's a shit box. <laughs> the transmission, T3550, I think. Yeah, she got the old T3550 trans in her, boys. Five speed, you know I like that. It ain't the worst. It is going to be a show truck. I guess their plan was to put a bunch of subs in the... Uh, under that. But you know what? If I end up keeping it, then I probably definitely am going to have to get that out of there. We're going to have to get that out of there. I need some room for dirt bikes, boys. Let's spray paint it anyways. Oh, let's take a look in here, huh? Seats ain't that bad. It also came with another set of seats that are in the bed. I also got a wicked animal trap for free with it. Look at, she had it out by the curb. I was like, shit, you throwing that bad boy out? I'll take it. Let's get another set of seats in there. Some other panels for something. But guys, I'm thinking I'm gonna have my wife make me some graphics for it. Maybe something like that says, the Danger Ranger, or I know some of you guys want to hear it run under the hood. So these three pedals, a lot of you guys don't know. You don't even bother with the middle one unless you want to do a burnout. This is for stopping. But with this, the way that this is designed, you just get her sideways at every corner, downshift it. You don't even have to bother using brakes. Everybody know that, boy. Guys, tell me what you think she's worth. I know it's a shit box. Don't be acting all peanut butter and fucking jealous. Starter hangs a little. According to them, that's the mileage on the rebuild on the motor. So hear it out there, huh? Oh, okay. This shit, this, this shit just keeps getting better and better. Oh, door's gonna fall off. Pudgy tire. I mean, not the best sounding V8 I've ever heard in my life, but come on. This ain't no Dodge Dakota. This sucker's gonna handle business. They said everything's here to run the AC too, but I, I'll have to confirm that. Damn, open air intake with a kind of a box. 
It almost has a box. Let's see if I even got headlights, boys. I ain't sure. I wanted to bring it in here so I could get an idea. What kind of what kind of juice we're dropping? Oh shit, boy! Oh yeah. Unreal, guys. It needs an exhaust. I mean, let's let's face it. Let's face facts. It needs an exhaust that's gonna go wah, 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 or something like that. It needs an exhaust. This shit's too quiet, dudes. Oh. Got some stuff under there. There's stuff under there. Rocking the sweet. What? What we got here? 15 inch wide? Or 10 inches wide. Something. They wide. They wide though. I keep some clean. They tans. They tans. So all I see under it is some water. And it's raining outside. That's kind of good. Looks pretty clean underneath. I mean. Hell boy, she got fog lampers. Guys, guys, guys. Let's see what our temperature's at. Because it was hovering around 200 just fine earlier. Not quite. This old bitch twist. Let's get these tires set the way we like them and uh <laughs> shit dudes it's barely even raining this is the best time to go rip some shitties in the cul-de-sac right there or something second like nothing boys i don't want to lose i don't want to lose her out here okay something happened there where the accelerator stuck a bit did y'all see that y'all see that shit what the fuck oh yeah it's a shit box don't fucking don't beat her on the floor in the clutch it squeaks like and shit a little bit before i let my kid drive it for sure that gum she got some power boys it's fun i wonder if i had like maybe the foot mat down there or something i don't know but I ended up clutching it and pulling it out of gear because it seems sketch, boys. Man, I do like this sucker. A lot. I ain't gonna lie. A lot, a lot. Like maybe, maybe I should keep it. I don't know. I'll never say that. All right, dude. So we're gonna leave her sit here. And uh, one of the reasons is I'm gonna let it sit here for a little while so I can look under it and make sure we ain't lost a shit ton of fluid and make sure nothing's leaking out of it. And also I'm going to uh, let it cool off a little bit, come back out here and get get Mr. Dirt Nasty on her. Oh, she's a little dirty, she's a little dirty. That's, that's what happens when them tires stick out wider than the daggone thing, shit. I feel like we're all set, guys. I feel like I could go ahead and send her. Hey, it's hot up here, Cub. And don't you even take a shit in here. No, this isn't Blake's shit box, okay? Don't come around cat sniffing stuff. And she's to see it literally, dude. You know it's a shit box because she doesn't even go near it. Don't you jump on top of it and fucking claw up the spray paint. Scratch it right off. I know you wanna. Wow. No, you ain't jumping up there, you cat bitch. Oh, see, she knows some raccoon or some other cat's been all over it. Nope, not brown. I got the GoPro two boys right here, so we're gonna go get you set up for some burnout action. Let me get my AC on. Have you seen the uh, all the stuff on TikTok and stuff? Fucking Ford Ranger. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Not like this boy. Yeah. Huh? It's cool. Get in there. Are those tires over there okay? Yeah. Was it? Is the door locked? Let go. 
So if I let you drive this, pay attention because the brakes are shit. Okay. There's a, don't put your feet on this dash. There's a kill switch down here. So you can start her up. It's gotta be in neutral. Go ahead and open that triangle window. See that? You push the button, watch me, I'll show you. Guys, these kids, these kids don't know about the 260 air. Now, back when you was a kid, maybe, if you're old enough, 260 meant you're going 60 miles an hour, you get your two windows open, you get your 260 air. Some people had the 275 air. Here you go, now flip it out. Now flip the other side all the way towards you. There you go, that's good. If you want, you can crank down your window. Have you ever had to do that before? Oh yeah, my yeah. S10 had that. The brakes suck. <laughs> like they won't even skid in this gravel. Ready boys, look, shit rock brakes. That shit box brakes right there, guys, won't even fucking slide them in the gravel. They work, but not good. So now what we're gonna do, since the neighbor ain't home, I don't wanna be a huge dick, is we're gonna paint the mailbox black with a ribbon. All right, watch me. Do a burnout. You gotta switch from the from the clutch to the brake real quick. So I'm gonna rub right for you. I'm gonna dump the clutch, put my foot on the brake, okay? Okay. in hold your brake boy hold your brake over and up towards you and up now let off the brake let her roll give her a little gas so easy now that's enough because that throttle likes to stick if it gets sticky let me see you clutch it real quick not the brake first the clutch first all right go ahead easy boy Pushing the clutch, go straight down. Easy, it's not, it's not that go-kart. <laughs> Hold on, pushing the clutch. All right, let her out slow. Feel that compression and almost stopping you? Yeah. All right, now, push in the clutch, go to six. There you go. Let's, let's see you just stop all the way. Clutch in all the way. Or it's gonna die, you don't have the clutch on it at all. I do. No, you don't, push. Oh. Now it's in. So push in the clutch and the brake. Nice and gentle, up. All right, let off the brake first. Little gas, let the clutch out slow. Easy, boy. <laughs> now, gently clutch in, pull straight down. You didn't get the clutch all the way in again. All the way in, now down. Up here in like fourth, easy. Push it in again. All right, let go. Now you're in second. 
There you go. Keep an eye on your temperature there. Make sure she don't get hot or nothing. Okay. Yeah. What do you think? It's cool. Pretty fun. Yeah. Hold the brake. Yeah. Let go of the clutch. Push in the parking brake. Push all the way down. All right, let go. Make sure we don't roll. All right, switch me up. All right, boys, tell you what. First steps first when you're driving, buckle in. It's a race truck. And I'm taking it easy today. Even though if you're just driving dead ass serious, buckle in. This thing doesn't have seat belts right now. So, I ain't gonna let it get the best of me a minute ago. You've seen it come out of this knob come off on me. Spin them. Now dudes, let's give this thing a score, a ship box score, a solid one to ten ship box score. As far as ship boxes go, it's about a, a eight out of ten. We can get some more stuff going for it. We could definitely get it running a little bit better so that at least because man, if you got a ship box boy, it better be ready to outrun somebody. And I don't think this one is. It does run pretty good, but there's a lot left. Like I said, ship box score. About an 8 out of 10. There's too much left on the table for it. Okay. Anybody know why it would be blowing bubbles? Anybody know? Am I imagining shit? Or did this thing just blow a bubble at me? Why would it be blowing bubbles? How? And from where? Pay till tomorrow morning so I can come out here and take a look underneath it. See if it's really lost anything. Um, Shitbox score. 7 of 10, easy, because like I said, it is a shit box. If it was flat out fast as hell, you could overlook the paint job. You could overlook a couple other things, but that's why I'm saying. As far as Ford Rangers go, pre-90s, boy, this thing's a 10 out of 10. Still on the road, and it's better. Got a funner motor, 5-speed. It looks cool. So I'd say as far as Ford fucking Rangers go, that's a 10 out of 10, boys. That fucker's mint if you're talking Ford Rangers. And if you don't know what a Ranger GT is, it's because you ain't living right. So, dudes, as far as Ford Rangers go, like I said, 10 out of 10. But ship boxes, I'm going to be real. It ain't, it, ain't, it ain't fast enough to be this ugly. You know what I'm saying? And it does look pretty good, but it should be faster is what I mean. So I got a proposition for you guys. Pretty much plan is whenever... Uh, he needs a set of front tires. He needs a set of front tires. He needs me to go find a big parking lot and do a bunch of donuts in it. Um, but the motor could probably use a tune-up. It's been sitting since, I think, 2018. I mean, so maybe we give it a tune-up. I was also thinking, run down to AutoZone, throw the fuckboy package at it, you know, whatever they get. They get them some dice. They get them an air freshener. They get them a damn, some dice for the, uh, for the tire valve stems. They get them like a footprint gas pedal, something like that. And uh, maybe we get something to cut the mufflers off with. I'm going to see if these mufflers just slide off because some people, if I was building that truck, I'd make it to where, you know, you could just push a button, push a button and then dump your exhaust. But I'm living in 2021. Whoever built this is living in, daggum, 1987, boys. And if you're interested in this pickup truck, let me know, because it ain't going to last long, and I'm going to get rid of it. Time machines, that's what it's all about, guys. Hey, get up in the shop, get up in there, like, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. But we're going to keep on bringing different stuff, and uh, it's relative. And freaking, you put a Mustang 5.0 with the manual transmission and a freaking Ford Ranger, you got my attention. I mean, it's priced right. I had to do it. So I didn't do it for you guys this time. I got a, I, That would be a lie. I did it for me, but that's when you guys should know this is going to be good stuff. So I hope you enjoyed it, and we're not done with it. Parker drove it a little bit. I still got to take the wife for donuts. You know what I mean? We're going to go get donuts in this thing, and well, she'll find out what I mean later on. She too, but truth is, we ain't, we ain't going to get no We're going to do donuts. 
So we gotta find us a place to do it. And uh, this truck's a lot of fun. Maybe give her a little tune up. I don't know. And if you guys want it, be sure to just let me know because all I can say is no. And I ain't gonna tell y'all what I paid for it. That way everybody, that way nobody's gonna feel like they get that I made any money. So come on, before I break it, before uh, Blake gets a hold of it now, somebody come get it. Come <laughs> on.